Do they tell you that when you apply here? Like you're gonna have a front row seat to awkward first dates when you're yeah, cooking? Yeah, breakups, all sorts of good. Oh no! Breakups? No. Um, we have a little thing in the back where it said so many days since a breakup, and are you, you know, serious? And it's always zero. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. There were a steak draft. What would be your number one overall draft pick for best steak? The ribeye. Yes. Thing. That's why we are here in Williamsburg at St. Anselm to try a bone-in ribeye. A lot of classic New York steakhouses serve kind of the same thing across the board. These guys serve a lot of different stuff, really care about where they get their meat, and it shows. We're here to try it. Let's do it. This is a uh, Piedmontese tomahawk ribeye. What? makes a tomahawk a tomahawk here? We have the bone, which I think traditionally is like more than, I want to say five or six inches is what they consider. Mm -hmm. These ones we don't French, so it still has a little bit of the short rib and just like a little bit of meat to gnaw on. How many of these do you cook a night? Weekends, we'll cook usually 16, 20 of them. The smallest we've ever had is like 20 some ounces. Yeah. Largest I think was 100 ounces. So they really... A hundred ounces? Yeah. hundred ounces. Oh my God. So they really... Did you sell that one? Yeah. The racks of ribeyes, there are typically seven steaks. You guys want to pick your favorite? Which one do you guys like? You guys are the experts here just as much as us. Yeah, I think this I, one. I think that's my steak. Yeah, we All had right. a little bit of meat there still. This is like... One of our um, games that we play is guess, 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 guess oh, how much it okay. weighs. So let's, yeah, let's look really do it. Now. Yeah. I got money in my pocket. It's a little bit loose. Let's do this. Do we need to get a real scale so that we're... Uh... Yep. yep. Okay. Let's do I'll it. I'll get a scale. Each member of each team gets to pick up the steak, confer amongst your teammates. Yes. We'll write it on the paper. Whoever loses is going across the street for a six pack. That's yeah. exactly right. Oh my God. Do we see? What do we? Oh man, we 40, all suck. 40? <laughs> you gotta have a tiebreaker stick. Okay, tiebreaker stick. We gotta guess stick. another one. <laughs> Let's do the big one. Here we go. I think that's a winner. 64? 62! Yeah. Damn it! Yes! <laughs> All right, so we owe you guys a six pack. You guys can choose the beer. I'm sure you know the beer selection across the street yep. very, very well at this point. Now that you've shown us up as far as knowing what weights of steaks are. Yeah, by doing our job. You can show us up on how to cook a steak. All right, lots of seasoning pushed into the steak. So much of it's gonna fall off yeah. on the grill. So pretty much if salt and pepper can stick to the surface, you want it there. Yeah. I mean, you guys have cooked more steaks than anyone else. What's the 101? Turn it often. You know, you don't want it to sit. I like to get a good even char, so it's not about like cross hatching and like that, any of that with the fish or anything we do. Like the next move on this ribeye that I'm gonna make is just to scoot it over a little bit so hopefully the grill gets like in between where the marks are now. We'll start it like good and hot and get a good char going and then if you need to, if it has a fat cap, move it over to render the fat. You're just vastly different from the landscape. You're not one of these 200 year old New York iconic steakhouses. You're like in a really amazing, transparent about where your meat comes from neighborhood steakhouse. A lot of times you just have to decide like, I don't give a shit about that. Like this is how we're doing it. This is how it's made. Wow. God, that looks perfect. <laughs> No barbecue sauce with your steak. Just get some butter, let that melt on there. And that's it. That's it. Love it. As it should be. So you guys aren't just gonna abandon us. You're gonna, no, we're gonna eat help. some of this too, right? Uh, what kind of six pack do you guys want? Closest to water is great. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Living up to my promise. Thank you. Can we please serve you guys? Yeah. So you did all the you did all the work. This is the crucial move. This is SOP right here. You gotta butter it up. You got this like big beautiful steak. Does anyone ever get upset that they're getting this like big beautiful bone? You know, I feel like the people that order it like know what they're getting into, but mm -hmm. there are people that won't order it. You know, usually like, like why would I pay for that bone on I'm that steak? Those, yeah. yeah. 
but yeah. most everybody's pretty excited about it. And they know up front that it's... It's a tomahawk. It's, it's, a, the, yeah, it's part of the name. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah. As you get this thing to gnaw on, you get some of the short rib, you get that short rib fat. Like, that's part of what makes it so great. This is your whole steak with the bone that it came on. Right? This really is the best part. This bone is amazing. Ribeye is like the king of the American barbecue, the American steakhouse. I feel like some people would probably argue Porterhouse. I would tell those people they're wrong. Thank you so much. This was fantastic. It really was. Yeah. <laughs> For more of this, click here.